Hey there, guys! Hi! So, today is another project day. <laughs> um, I know we've been having a lot of those recently. Um, amazingly, we went three days without one. Only yep. three? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so, today, the reason why we have a project day is um, because we actually have two separate guests coming to vis visit us next week. Um, not next week. Month. Yes, next month. Next month. Feels like um, next week. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, and to prepare for those, um, we had to change our guest bedroom into a storage uh, space to sort of be able to um, clean up the house a little bit. But now we're switching it back. It kind of forced us to reorganize everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> everything <laughs> so that's what we spent our day doing is uh reorganizing everything um reorganizing the guest bedroom and the giant arm wire that we use for our uh crafts and stuff has actually been moved to our closet okay. <laughs> so again so i did that um with a little bit of christina's help um, but I can tell you that arm wire is the largest, heaviest piece of furniture we own besides the desk. And thankfully the desk comes in two parts. Does it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you guys what we've done to our closet to sort of rearrange. And then I'm going to show you guys um, what we've done to the guest bedroom to sort of compensate the fact that we moved our crafts. So let's go check out what we've done today. Okay. So this is our closet right here. We have a tension rod here. We just have to get an, another curtain. The curtain we had there uh, is actually now part of our bathroom um, window. And we planned on making this sort of like a second fantasy land. Um, sort of like, I don't know, like the Little Mermaid area. Yeah. Right? Because look at my friend up there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, like I said, this is our closet. Um, when we walk in, we have our laundry baskets right here. Um, Christina's little fox shoes. Um, They're slippers, not shoes. <laughs> but this is the arm wire that was our crafts arm wire. And uh, it helped us rearrange a lot, actually. Um, allowed us to put my hats and stuff inside, like my ears. Um, it allowed us to reorganize clothes. We now have a place to put our toilet paper, or like our overflow toilet paper. Because <laughs> there's not room under the bathroom sink. And now that I think about it, overflow toilet paper yeah. doesn't sound all right. <laughs> um, but it's all right. That's our extra toilet paper. Um, I also have a location for all the extra hats that used to hang on the side of what we had here. Um, and what we had here was sort of like a metal sort of shelves. Um, it also allowed Christina to put her Mickey ears up here, which is great. So the ear hats. Mm hmm Can we just talk about how big Sebastian actually is? First for size comparison. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, he looks tiny sitting up there, but... Yeah. It's huge! She had him on the toilet, but ah. it, he kind of <laughs> stares off in space. If you, if you push his mouth in, he kind of looks like Kronk. <laughs> I love him. He creeps Michael out, but I love him. He does. Um, we also have, with Christina's Tsum Tsum collection, we end up getting, like, these, which is the Dumbo, the like, carriers. carrier. Um, so we end up with a whole bunch of carriers, and that's where we store those. <laughs> We're not quite sure what to do with them yet. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this, Christina and I, oddly, wear the same size athletic shorts, which is very helpful um, because, I mean, we don't wear the athletic shorts out of the house, but when we're around the house, it's nice to just lay in those, and so we have a shelf for specifically those. Um, he looks like he's about to tell us a back in my day story. <laughs> <laughs> Christina and I each have a dresser too. These are for like our folding clothes. Um, and then if you look on my side of the closet, you can see that I have a lot of dress shirts. That's the only thing I hang. Um, and then a lot of vests you guys saw when um, we did the, the park challenge, the eight park challenge. Um, and then everything of mine is, is color coded. So these are my whites and blue shirts. And then it changes color for each drawer. Um, we also have 
Oliver Duffy and Shelly May clothes right here, and um, a whole bunch of, of canvas for some odd reason, um, which is fantastic for all those projects that we do where we make clothes. Um, and then these two nutcrackers I'm sure you saw when we walked in um, were our bigger nutcrackers. We don't store them out in the garage because there's nothing to store them in. So to keep them from the damage of the heat and the, uh, anything that can get to them, um, we keep them inside the house. Now you'll notice that with my dress shirts, they are pretty wrinkly. Um, I did just hang them up, but what happens is our shower is right here. Um, so when we use the shower, the steam from the shower comes into our closet and it sort of just steams those. So that works out. And there's Christina ear holder right there. So um, I'll show you. We have a second one of those metal grates, uh, metal shelves that, that I was talking about that was sitting here. Um, and I will show you it's out in the garage of sort of what it looks like. So this is what we had in our um, bedroom closet, our master bedroom closet, um, was these metal grates. And so we would hang stuff off the side of it. Um, with the arm wire there, it will eliminate us from hanging stuff. And because we have to get the doors open and closed, it will stop us from putting stuff on the floor. Um, also, it had a lot more storage than this. As you can see, this only has about five shelves. Um, so, us having the arm wires is a whole lot better. So here is our guest bedroom. Um, we showed you guys before that is themed to the pirate lair. Um, we've got our parrot up here. You can see Smitty's on the bed. He's back in his pirate outfit. Um, we moved some of the furniture around. Like this used to be over here. Um, we have a new nightstand. Um, that sort of fits the theme of this. Uh, when we originally showed you guys the bed was against that wall. Now it's on this wall, which helps out a lot. Um, and then we move the treasure chest over here. This is where the pirate ship goes. Um, I'm still working on it just a little bit. I'm about halfway through with it. Um, and it should be finished by tomorrow if not the next day. Um, and I intended on putting it in the time lap for this video. What we did to alleviate the craft arm wire so we can use it in the closet is uh, Christian had the stretcher drawers and now we're using it as sort of a craft holder. So it has all of our crafts in it now. Um, when we open up here, you can see um, you know that Christina sews skirts and and um, she helped sew the vests. So these are fabrics that we can use for that. Um, we have two sewing machines. The one on the left is mine. The one on the right is hers. And then that's her sewing kit. Um, then we have sort of random crafts. We have ribbons. Um, we have some strands of string. Um, just different arts and crafts stuff. And then in the bottom drawer, it's the same thing. Um, we have Mardi Gras beads from Universal, which I'm going to use for another project. Uh, we have, we have all the cutouts for the different skirts, different dresses she makes. Um, we have our glue sticks and our glue gun down in there. And then, um, for our fur, when we do any fur on the costume, um, we have a fur brush. And then this dresser here, like I said, it used to be over there um, where the crafts dresser is now. But this dresser is for our guests to utilize where they're here. Uh, it is empty all except for the bottom drawer. Um, that way, if we do have guests staying, then they can utilize that. So uh, there's also another nightstand back in the corner there. Um, and we have... Um, surge protectors so that they can utilize it, say, if they have a, a phone that they need to plug in or laptop, anything like that. So that is our pirate room now. Um, and it looks a lot better because, like I said, we were using it 
as a uh, storage location, um, sort of, we have three people living in the house uh, because we have Christian and Christina and I, uh, and sort of what happened is um, we all saved stuff for our own personal homes when we got to our own personal homes. Um, and in doing so, we ended up with not one, not two, but three houses full of stuff that has been saved to sort of like merge together. Uh, and then Christian's still in the process of gathering stuff for him in case he moves out at any time. Um, not that we want that. Um, we love having Christian as a roommate. But we have all that stuff that we have sort of stored for our own personal use um, for when we want it to build or have our own houses. So that's why we were using this as a storage location. So it was pretty much all that stuff that we had saved separately, um, for our houses when we grew up. Um, of course we still haven't grown up when it comes to mentality. You see our videos, we go out, we have fun. Um, we're very big park fanatics as you've seen. So um i hope you guys like the changes we do it helps out a lot especially after the other day we changed the living room and the dining room now we changed the guest bedroom and the closet and it's helping us store a lot more stuff um it has come to the end of our evening which means it is time for us to go watch out for free range grandmas so bye guys <laughs>